In my last video, I showed you different ways to stop OneDrive from automatically uploading your files without your permission. So in this video, I will show you how to use Command Prompt to achieve the same result. Now let's dive into the tutorial. First of all, it is important to back up your files before stopping OneDrive, as this may interrupt file syncing and could potentially lead to data loss if files are not properly synchronized. Now head over to the Start menu and type CMD in the search bar. Then run it as an administrator and click Yes when the User Account Control prompt appears. Now let's start with how you can unlink your Microsoft account to stop OneDrive from syncing files between your device and the cloud using the command line. So in the command box, type percent local app data percent. This command is an environment variable in Windows that points to the local application data folder on your computer. Next, type backslash Microsoft backslash OneDrive and backslash OneDrive.exe. This part specifies the location of the OneDrive executable file, which is responsible for running the OneDrive application. After that, add a space and type slash unlink. This command line switch tells OneDrive to unlink or disconnect the local machine from the OneDrive account. Finally, press the Enter key to run the command. When you run this command, it stops OneDrive from syncing your data, but it does not delete any files. The files will remain on your computer, and you can still access them. However, they will not be updated or synced with the cloud unless you relink your account later. Microsoft OneDrive was programmed to start automatically and sync files to the cloud when a computer boots. So to stop OneDrive from starting automatically, this is the command line to use. First type regAd, which adds or modifies a registry key or value. Then follow by HKCU backslash software backslash Microsoft backslash Windows backslash current version and backslash run. The HKCU stands for H key current user which is a registry hive that contains settings for the currently logged in user. The rest of the path specifies the location within the registry where the change will be applied. The run key is used to specify programs that should run automatically when the user logs in. Next, type slash V1 drive, where the V stands for value. The one drive is the name of the registry value being added or modified. In this case, it refers to a value that could be used to control whether Microsoft OneDrive runs at startup. Then finally, type slash treg underscore sz slash d empty string slash f. Here, the slash t specifies the type of the registry value and the reg underscore sz indicates that the value is a string. The slash d stands for data followed by the empty string, which is the actual data being assigned to the value. In this case, it's an empty string, which effectively disables or removes one drive from running at startup. The slash F flag forces the command to execute without prompting for confirmation and ensures the change is made without user interaction. Now press the Enter key to run the operation successfully. Now. If I open the Task Manager and go to the Startup App section, you will see that OneDrive has been removed. In a situation where you want to stop any ongoing uploads by OneDrive, this is what you have to type in the Command Prompt window. This command is used to forcefully terminate the OneDrive running process. Here's what you have to type in the command box. Task Kill space slash f space slash im onedrive.exe so here the task kill command is used to terminate or stop one or more running processes in windows next the slash f forces the termination of the process without this flag 
The command might not work if the process is not responding or if it requires user confirmation to close. The slash IM stands for image name and it specifies the process to be terminated is identified by its executable name, which refers to the name of the program file. And the last part of the command is onedrive.exa. By specifying this, the command targets the OneDrive process for termination. Now that you understand the command, proceed and press the Enter key to execute the command. Now if you open the show hidden icon, you see that OneDrive is no more there. And that's it. You've successfully stopped OneDrive from automatically uploading your files using the command prompt. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with anyone who might need it. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on more tech tips and tutorials like this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.